Good morning, church. Just wanted to share an encouragement with you um, this morning. I've been thinking lots of over the last few months about how we as Christians react to things. Um, and I don't know about you, but I've been a Christian for as long as I can remember. I think I became a Christian when I was five or six years old, and I've never actually known life without God, genuinely. Um, and sometimes you hope that as you are Christian longer, that you become maybe more mature in your faith, that you understand things a little bit more from God's perspective. But I find that sometimes the longer that you're a Christian, the more you can um, become a little bit entitled to thinking that you should have life a little bit better. Um, and I was thinking about this uh, with the prodigal son story. I was thinking about um, how the older brother reacted when the younger brother had, had just gone off um, ruined himself, um, lost everything that his father had given him. And when he returned, the father just hugged him. The father gave him the ring and put the cloak around him and just took him back home um, and gave him the best fattened calf and basically threw the biggest party that area would have ever seen because his son, who was once lost, has now been found. And you'd expect maybe the older brother to say, this is amazing, I'm going to party alongside with you. In fact, he went out to the field and he was very grumpy because in his mind, that younger brother didn't deserve that. That brother didn't deserve all of that great treatment that the father gave him. And there was a real sense of entitlement there, that sense of, but I'm the one who's done all this. Um, I've, I've kept on the right path. I've done all the right stuff. Therefore, surely... I should receive all of this, not him. And I think the longer that we're Christians, there sometimes creeps into our lives that sense of entitlement, that sense of surely, God, things should be easier for me. Surely I shouldn't find myself in situations that are incredibly hard. Surely I shouldn't have um, different trials and tribulations that I'm finding myself in. And the older we are sometimes in our faith, maybe the more times we say, but why, God? Surely I should not have to face this. And I think sometimes um, younger Christians, people who maybe have only known Jesus for a couple of months or maybe a year, I think we can learn an awful lot from them. They remembered what it was like to not be with God and now with God. The fact that the creator of heaven and earth loved them so much that he wanted to have a relationship with them. And through that grace, they're just, they're just drenched, aren't they, in, in, in grace and just um, awestruck wonder who God is, rather than what God is giving them. And I just want to challenge us, maybe some of us who have been Christians for maybe decades, actually, maybe for most of our lives. Some of you might have been Christians for 50, 60 years. I just want to encourage you to never have that sense of entitlement. Never have that sense of, why, God? Why have you let this happen? Why? And actually, instead of thinking, do you know what, God? I'm going to leave my whys with you. I'm going to leave all of my questions with you. And all I'm going to do is like that very first day when I found you, I'm going to cling on to how amazing and great you are. And the fact that even though you are so incredible and you are so great, you want to have a relationship with me. And just have that awestruck wonder again. Let's get back to our first love, friends. Let's get back to that place where we just say, I can't believe God has taken me in all of my filth and all of my dirt. He's wrapped his cloak around me. He's put his ring on my finger. He's given me value and dignity like I've never known before. Let's get back to that. Let's never be like the older brother where we say, oh, I don't know why this has happened. And I don't, let's not be like that. Let's be lovers of Christ and just open hearted and have that sense of grace and see everybody else through those eyes as well of grace, of love, of mercy. So I just want to encourage you with that. This is what God's been speaking to me about. So um, God bless you. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Love you lots.